being a 21st century teacher means that we are educating a generation who have technology and other ICT resources readily available in their everyday lives. That is why it is important that we acknowledge technology as an important tool which can bring beneficial changes in the teaching and learning process. In this video, I will discuss about the benefits and the issues related to the use of technology in teaching physical and health education. One of the benefits of technology is we are provided with tools that supports and increases the effectiveness of instruction. In teaching PE, we can use several apps in delivering lessons to our students. Virtual meeting applications like Zoom and Google Meet allows us to teach our students anytime and outside the traditional classroom setup. Video streaming platforms can also be utilized to provide the students with instructional materials which can supplement their learning. The teacher may also do video recordings of the skills to ensure that the students are provided with the proper skills. Doing so will allow the students to watch, observe, practice, and acquire the skills needed. Also, they can ask their students to download exercise applications to promote productivity by being physically active. Gadgets like fitness trackers and smartwatches are also beneficial supplemental tools to know the heart rate, calories burned, and the student's overall fitness level. Moreover, technology helps teachers to gather and retrieve students' data easily. We can use LMS or Google Suite features like Google Drive to store students' activity submissions. Google Forms can also be utilized in providing quizzes or examinations to save time and easily record the students' results. Another benefit is that technology improves communication and collaborative skills of the students. They can use Google Docs to work on written activities with their classmates. Same with Canva wherein they can make their presentations together despite being away from each other. Breakout rooms, Facebook, Messenger, and other social media sites can also be utilized to practice communication and promote collaboration through posting and sharing of ideas. Lastly, technology provides opportunities for all students. With the online virtual classes, students who are working are provided with a chance to learn by watching a recorded class session. That way, they are still able to learn and keep up with the topics taught by their teachers. These recorded sessions are also beneficial to students who are slow learners because it allows them to rewatch the session and learn the topic in their own pace. On the other hand, one of the issues related to the use of technology in teaching physical and health education is that it may decrease the time that a class has to be motor engaged. And when the students have less time of being engaged in physical activities, they may develop a sedentary lifestyle which is not good for their health and well-being. Also, the high cost and slow internet connectivity experience both by the teacher and the students also affect the participation and the quality of each class session. Another issue is that there are a lot of misleading and incorrect information available in the web that the students may encounter. That is why as teachers, it is crucial that we check the materials that we provide to our students to ensure that they are following and learning the right thing. Lastly, not all students are well aware of the applications that they can use to maximize their gadgets in learning about physical and health education. That is why as teachers, it is important that we are always open to learning new things, especially if it is about technology so that we can be able to guide our students in utilizing technological tools in learning about physical and health education. In fine, the increasing prevalence of technology in education reflects a broader cultural shift in the education process. As the modern world becomes more digitized, technological literacy is becoming increasingly important. That is why we, as a physical and health education teachers, we must integrate technology in the education process not only for the reason that we need to help our students become equipped 
with the necessary knowledge and movement skills, but also to prepare them for the success in the digital era. That is all for this video. I hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching.